Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick rundown of the VPS panel that you get when you sign up for Zen6. Um, first, I apologize for the microphone, my USB mic, uh, a Logitech wireless uh, clear chat deal. My third one just died um, while I was trying to do this the first time. Now I'm using a uh, cheap wired analog uh, mic. Anyway, when you get your email, uh, your welcome email from us, you're going to get your dedicated IP and your root password or both going to be in there. Use the last six numbers of the IP as your username. Your root password is your password for the web panel. Go ahead and log in and you'll be greeted with the welcome screen which will have a list of all the servers you have. Um, if you have more than one VPS they're all going to be listed right here. Um, if you just have the one which is most likely what you're going to have it's just going to be the one line here and you can click on manage or the host name and that will take you in to the actual uh, maintenance area. Now you can see some information about your server. This is zenssh.com, um, the actual VPS it runs on. Um, over here are the resources you're using and you can see I have 128 megabytes for the site. I'm only using 26. That's kind of the entire point of the Zen SSH site. We're going to get you to the point where you're using under 100 at least. Uh, you go over here, you got power control, which is just reboot, shut down, and then boot the uh, server back up. You can reinstall your operating system, which there's CentOS, Debian, uh, different templates, just read them over. But remember, if you do install one of these, uh, if you reinstall it, you're going to wipe out everything you have on the server. So it's going to be completely, uh, you know, starting over from scratch, just as if you reinstalled the operating system on your home computer. Uh, right here, you can change your root password. You can change your host name for the server. Uh, console, right here, we'll just uh, skip that from for now and come back to it another time. Logs and statistics, main IP address for your server any other IP addresses that you might have assigned. Your logs will show you who's logged into the web panel and what time. Uh, statistics is your bandwidth usage for previous months. And backup control, you can just ignore that because it's disabled right now and we'll talk about that at another time. Anyway, that's a quick overview. I uh, just wanted, wanted to show you that so there's no questions. Uh, in the next video or article, we're going to go over logging into your server for the first time via SSH, and we'll really get started with actually doing something. So look, uh, look for that in probably one or two days.